What's up, Warriors, man? Hope you guys smashed it this week, man. Like I said, man, this is when the tests are coming strong, man. The holidays, a lot of gatherings, a lot of, uh, you know, interaction with people. They're trying to pressure you. I mean, a lot of times they don't even mean it, but uh, it's there. And people crack. People tend to give in to their pleasures, man. But uh, this video is about... You know, a lot of sh uh, a lot of stuff that we're going through right now. A lot of people are, you know, uh, feel pressure. Uh, there's a lot of uh, depression going around, anxiety going around because uh, the holidays, man. A lot of people they just they don't like the holidays because it's like you feel obligated. You feel obligated to give. A lot of people ain't in the situation of uh, of giving. You know, as much as they would want to, but a lot of times, hey, man, that's how you set yourself up. Uh, you know it's coming. We don't prepare. And uh, in the last minute, we're over here borrowing money. We're over here using our credit cards, getting in debt, knowing that you don't have that money. I've been there. I've done that already. So I feel you guys. I could cope with that. I could understand you guys. But let me tell you guys that, man, you know, there, there's, there's a better way. We have a lot of this shit twisted, man. We have a lot of this society mindset that, get get in our head or that we think that you know i mean we you know we should um get in debt and, and feel pressure and obligated to uh to just uh look good a lot of times you go out of the way just to look good to uh you know i mean you want to impress people you know you want to go beyond your means you know buy expensive gifts that you know them well you don't even have the money for at the end of the day you know it's the thought that counts a lot of people ain't in the position. They're not in that situation to uh, be uh, spending over their, uh, their their means, you know, what they're winning, what they're making. You know, you got to understand that. And people are going to understand, but we just don't get that. We just don't want to, you know, that's just uh, the way that men think. You know, we don't want to, man, we don't want to see ourselves like them to see us like cheap or like, oh, man, this guy, you know, he, this is all he got me. I know that that's what crosses our mind and that's the way we think man we you know we um instant gratification uh plays a big role here we want to look good because we it makes us feel good at the moment but knowing in the back of your head that you you either borrow that money you either use your maxed out your credit cards man i was like every year many years i went through that man and i was like man i'll worry about it later or i'll get it you know when my taxes come out I'll pay it back when my taxes uh, show up. And then when your taxes show up, man, there was a whole nother mess and a whole nother debt waiting for you. And uh, it, it's just, uh, it's not the way to live, man. It's not the way to live because, uh, man, you're always going to be, uh, you know, you feel pressure, you, you know, get stressed out. And uh, all that causes a, a lot of problems, you know, a lot of finan uh, uh, financial problems that, uh, you know, bleeds into uh, relationship problems, into, uh, you know, problems with your, you know, your, your spouse, your, your kids, even your kids, your peers that you owe money. It's just, it's all bad. It's all bad because you just, you want to prove a point or you want to uh, show them that you have something deep down inside knowing that you don't got it. You don't have it. It's better to be honest. It's better to be honest than be this honest and just look apart or look like you have something that you really don't, man. We're we're trying to, uh, you know, we got we're trying to placate people's uh, point of of them seeing us a certain way. We always, you know, uh, that's been one of our problems. You know that we tend to uh, want people to, uh, you, you know, those look at us different. You know, to thinking that that's you know a sign of respect. You know, which you know uh, sometimes it is. You know, it, it is the way the sign of respect because that only shows that you you know you hold your own you carry yourself well you're well put together you know um you come through but uh not by the not it's 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 hard to uh get through somebody's head man because like i said i did it for years man and when i spoke about you know on 2019 through the pandemic i was going through my own pandemic you know mentally physically spiritually and what I meant by that, not that I was destroying myself, uh, you know, in a manner that people were like, oh, man, this guy's fucking just out of control. He's walking around depressed. Nah, man, you know, because even uh, my lady got that uh, that message wrong. 
saying that, well, you're not, you weren't like mentally broken, physically, spiritually, like physically, maybe because you were drinking and you were letting yourself go, but mentally you always been strong. And uh, absolutely, I said, I agree with that. But what I meant to say, and a lot of us could cope with that. A lot of people out there, you know, they hold tough, man. They hold strong. But hey, man, you know, we go through shit too. We stress out too. We just don't show it. You know, we don't show it. We don't cry. We, our emotions are, are just locked in. You know, we we keep it in here, man. And that's how we were laced. That's how we were, uh, you know, taught, you know, growing up, you know, to hold everything inside. Don't show any weakness, you know, um, suck it up. You know, don't show no emotions. Don't show people, you know, uh, that you're weak. You know, it doesn't mean that we're not going through shit ourselves. Doesn't mean that I don't feel sad at times, that I don't feel stressed, that I don't feel depressed, that I don't, you know, get that little anxiety that we have. But now I have the tools to fight back because I know it's just me. But a lot of people, they get broken, you know, and uh, they self-destruct. Not that I was going to do that myself, but I just knew because I got up every day. I went to work. You know, I was bringing home a paycheck. I was providing for my family, but mentally inside, I wasn't okay with myself because I knew that my I was neglecting my uh, my health. You know, so mentally I was broken in that aspect. You know, not that I was like totally gave up, gave up and, and threw in the towel. It's where like she didn't understand what I meant. So I'm here to clarify it because a lot of us go through that. Just because the holidays are here, and you're showing strong and tough and you're holding it down doesn't mean that you ain't stressed be you know there's not worries behind your you know your 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 neck your mind it's it's always you know with that worry about oh shit man I'm going to pay this I'm going to do this you know like oh shit you know I got to I got to make it happen so you you put on that stress you know amongst ourselves but um doesn't mean that we don't we don't have any emotions or we don't feel it or we don't uh, get that uh, that fear, that 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 doubt, you know, oh, we all get it. We all go through it. A lot of people show it different. So that's what I meant when I, I said 2019, I was broken mentally, physically, spiritually, physically. I was pretty much destroying myself. Not that I was just a total mess because I never been like that. But I was, you know, letting myself go little by little, which I stopped it. You know, I was uh, I was aware of what I was doing. I just had to snap out of it. Not that I wasn't, you know, in control or out of control. I was I knew what I was doing, but I wasn't doing nothing about it. Mentally, you know, I was broken because uh, I knew that I could be more and that I was I had to become more that this was not it for me. So mentally, I was like fucking like like I couldn't find a, a way out. You know, and knowing that, you know, for you to uh, become more and uh, be more, you have to start working on yourself. So I had to go and study. I had to start reading these uh, these uh, these books, hit the books with uh, personal development. As as you start investigating, as you start being curious, door starts opening up. The door start opening up, you know, and, and a book lands in your lap. You know, uh, uh, you hear about a mentor, you hear about a coach, something that he said, it connects with you. So when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. I was ready to do something to change. It's what I meant. So mentally, yeah, I was lost. I was confused. I didn't know what I knew I was meant for more and I wanted more. But how, where, what did I have to do? And like I said, once you're ready, you're going to start being curious. You're going to start doing research. Uh, research of your own that's the only way to get ahead so that's what i did with that once i got that under control then i started checking my health you know so mentally physically and then spiritually came last because i was rewiring my subconscious mind all those fucking just bad thoughts that i had i had to just clean it out by my daily habits that i was uh you know uh doing daily Every day was work. Every day was me disciplining myself to get up early, three o'clock, which I said I was going to do. And I've been doing it for five years straight since I said, you know what, this is it. And this is what I'm going to do. Get up, 
hit my burpees, hit my meals, read, journal, put something out there, help somebody with some quote or some something that I put together. So I was working on myself and at the same time sharing, which it opens uh, it opened a lot of uh, doors to op opportunity that uh, came my way. So I had to do that on my own. I was the one that had to uh, just get out of my own way, which a lot of people, you guys, the motivation's out there running rampant right now. There's coaches out there speaking about it, living it. You know, a lot of people, they're just not connecting with them. A lot of people are ignoring it. A lot of people think it's something else. No, absolutely not, man. You gotta find that person that you connect with. You gotta find that person that you're like, hey, you know what, damn, that guy, you know, he's, he has a similar lifestyle like me. Uh, he spoke about him, you know, being a truck driver for 19 years. He came from the streets and uh, all this that, you know, that he's uh, talking about, people end up resonating with that message. So that means that, hey, you know what? Let me hit him up, man, because obviously, fuck, I see him disciplined. I see him healthy. I see him, you know, well off, stable, set. Let me hit him up. What is he doing? And that's why we're here, you know, pushing the message. Because, you know, just because people say, oh, I'm mentally, you know, broken, physically, spiritually, doesn't mean that you just like threw everything away. No, everything's going inside your head. It's just spinning around. You're going crazy within yourself, but you're still functioning. You're still, you know, trying to hold your family together. You're still trying to, uh, you know, hold your job together because you know that you got to bring the bread. You're the man of the house. So you got to fucking uh, provide. But does it mean that you, uh, you're you happy within yourself? No, nah, that's, that, so that's what I meant when I said that, you know, when I talk about 2019, during that pandemic, I was going through my own pandemic, which, you know, that's how I addressed it, man. But uh, like I said, man, a lot of us going through a lot, a lot of shit right now. But let me tell you guys, you know, it doesn't last, you know, it doesn't last, but it's going to take you to take that step to want more. And the only way that you're going to do that is by curiosity, you know, start listening to people, start seeing, you know, their lifestyle, how they're living, are they healthy, are they happy, are they well put together, you know, ah, he's doing something right, man, let me hit him up, what was he doing, what, how did he get there, that's why stories are so powerful, when you share your story of where you were, in which I have a track record and I documented every you know, single uh, part. When I started my journey, and as you guys know, a lot of people, they're like, damn, man, I scroll back on your Instagram. Fuck, I seen you drinking that 1942, taking shots, man. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. That was me. You know, that was my 40th birthday. I'll be 45. And, uh, but like I said, you know, we learn from people's mistakes, you know, so you just got to pay attention and listen, man. But this video that I just wanted to drop is just to clarify that and, uh, Hey, to hold strong, man, hold strong for all you individuals out there that are holding it down for your family. But I know deep inside, man, you know, we're not happy within ourselves, you know, and that shit's not going to last, man. You shouldn't live like that. There's ways to change. And uh, I'm a proven example. Like I said, man, I share my stories and my lifestyle on my IG, girl, fit, uh, girl, double underscore fitness. And uh, you can check me out on there, you know, and I got a program that I've been helping a lot of people kick that negative mindset, man, and helping them, you know, with their fitness journey, uh, their mindset and uh, finances too, man, because when your mind's right, you know, and your uh, health is right, your paper gets right, man. Let me tell you, other than that, you guys stay up, keep on running it in. Let's run it.